Good morning. I am Professor Ikram Mahmud Makki with new lecture. Today we will learn in this video thirds. What is meaning of thirds? What is the meaning of uh, thirds in mathematics and how to rationalize it? This is our today topic. We will learn today. First, thirds. What is third? Third is derived from Latin word thirdus means deaf mute. Definition A number which cannot be expressed as a ratio of two whole numbers. And another definition of third an expression which involves at least one irrational number is called a third. This is very important for us and this is very indispensable for us to know what is a rational number. So first we see the related terms used in our concept what is a rational number that is there is a rational number rational number and irrational number rational number a number which can be written in the form of p over q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number for example we have 8 8 is rational number because 8 over 1 we can write 8 in p over q form is if there is no denominator seen then it means it is understood that 1 is denominator and 1 is working as denominator if there is 8 it means 8 over 1 we are not using 1 but it is understood it is p over q form that is rational number the word integers what means integers integers natural number including 0 and their negatives are known as integers they are denoted by i minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 and so on these are integers again see a number which can be written in the form of p over q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number and our concern main concern in our definitions of third is irrational number so what is irrational number see irrational number a number which cannot be written in the which cannot be written which cannot be written in the form of p over q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero is called an irrational number for example square root 8 3 square root 7 3 square root plus 2 square root 5 over 7 square root are irrational numbers because the exponents of the numbers exponent of the numbers are fractions so these are irrational numbers these examples these integers these numbers are irrational numbers so after learning irrational numbers we see again our definition of thirds an expression which involves at least one at least one irrational number is called a third if there is existing an irrational number this expression will be called thirds for example these are the examples of thirds what is binomial third an expression is called a binomial third if it consists of two terms in which at least one term is third an expression is called a binomial third it can if it consists of two terms two terms in which two refers to binomial two terms in which at least one term is third for example the thirds 3 plus square root 7 square root x plus square root y and 2 square root 5 minus 3 square root 3 etc are binomial thirds because there are two terms used for the two different numbers subtraction and addition and multiplication and division sign conjugate binomial search what is conjugate binomial search 
p square root p plus square root q and square root p minus square root q are thirds whose product is a rational number whose products are whose product is a rational number when we multiply these two terms then they become a rational number the pure of such third such thirds are called conjugate binomial thirds for example 3 plus 2 square root 5 is a conjugate of 3 minus so see terms values are same but the difference of sign so this term is conjugate of this one and this term is conjugate of this one now after learning the what is third and uh, definitions and uh, all terms related to this topic now how to rationalize it this is our main concern to learn thirds how to rationalize it see an example and the solutions question is 4 over square root 5 so first of all keep in mind one thing we are to remove radical sign from denominators we are to remove radical sign from denominators 4 is numerators and 5 square root 5 is denominator so we are to remove radical sign from denominators for removal of this radical sign we start our solution look at here 4 over 5 square root square root 5 multiply by this number use this number numerator and as well as denominator same and after there is sign of multiplication so multiply this 4 whole square root 5 over 5 and 5 it becomes 5 square and square and square root will be cancelled each other so there is only just 5 again uh, next example 1 whole 1 3 plus square root 7 so far solving this we need to take a conjugate of this term we need to take conjugate of this third that is here is plus so we use here same term but the difference of sign that will be in negative sign so minus and minus we take both will be equal here addition sign plus sign and here minus and minus so multiply this and solve this multiply by one this one three into three look at here this is the there is a formula a square minus p square is equal to a plus b into a minus b there is terms are same but difference of sign so we will get a square minus b square so this formula will be applied here 3 3 a square and b square as b square and difference of sign minus minus 3 3 is a 9 square and square root will be cancelled each with each other so minus 7 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 this one same and minus 9 minus 7 is 2 so we have solved the radical sign out of out of our solution so we solved our question now we take another example to solve if x is equal to 4 minus square root 15 then find the value of 1 over x x plus 1 over x and third question x minus 1 over x and fourth question x square minus 1 over x square first we have given we have been given x value and we want to find the value of 1 over x what is 1 over x look at here this is 1 over x so x is now becomes denominator so write this value it 1 over 4 minus 15 square root so solve it because this can we need to take a conjugate of this term so we we will take 4 plus either here minus sign and here plus sign take plus and plus solve this 4 plus 15 square root and solve like this previous example use this formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b 
this formula will be applied and used here to solve our question so 4 4 4 4 16 15 into 15 it becomes 15 16 minus 15 here only just 1 so we don't need to write 1 as a denominators because it is understood because it is p over q form and 1 already exists this is our one question a part now we solve b part x plus 1 over x what is the value of x this is the value of x this is the value of x and 1 over x value this is 1 over x value so write down 4 minus square root 15 plus this is the sign of plus here is also plus and value 1 over x 4 plus 15 this is the value of 1 over x so solve it 15 and 15 it is cancelled 4 plus 4 8 now solve next part c x minus 1 over x so 4 minus 15 square root minus this is the formula this is in our questions minus sign so right put the brackets 4 plus 15 square root 4 minus and uh, apply this minus 4 minus square root 15 minus 4 minus plus minus and right word so this 4 and this 4 will be cancelled and minus minus so it becomes 1 time and 2 times so we write here 2 with addition of this minus sign so 15 square root this is the value of x minus 1 over x now the fourth part x square minus 1 over x square the formula x plus 1 over x into x minus 1 over x so what's the value of x plus 1 over x we have already solved the value of 8 that is this value written here 8 and x minus 1 over x this is the value of x minus 1 over x put the value here and multiplied it becomes minus 16 square root 15 now this is our solution of third and now it becomes rationalized if there is any questions regarding thirds and any queries further in clarification and queries you may contact this is my address ikram.ch1 at rate of gmail.com and skype address motivation.ch92 thank you for watching this video